Hi, grade ones and grade twos. The last couple of weeks we've been working a little bit on our catching skills. Today we're going to change it up just a bit and we're going to start looking at our throwing skills and how we can develop those and become better at throwing. So for today, you're going to need two pieces of equipment. You'll need something to aim at when we're throwing and I've got a bucket that can help me out with that. Uh, that will be my target for today. But if you don't have a bucket at home, maybe you could get yourself a drink bottle and that could be your target. Or maybe you could look for a spot on the wall. Or maybe you could get mum and dad's best vase to throw at. No, no, I'm only kidding about that. Don't do that. I'm sure they'll be upset if you do. No. Stick to a water bottle or stick to a bucket. And we will also need something to throw at those targets. So you'll need a ball of about medium size. For me, I don't have any lying around the house, but what I do have is a few pairs of socks which I've rolled up. And as you can see, I've got a couple of pairs of socks in here. I've actually got four socks and it's a bit of a bigger size ball. And that's gonna be good for me to grip today because it's about the same size as my hand. So for today, I'm gonna to teach you some basics first. There are two types of throws that we do. The first being the easiest to learn, which is the underarm throw. So an underarm throw is when we hold the ball by our side and our arm is actually below our shoulder. It is below our head and it's an underarm throw and it sort of looks a little bit like this. We also have another throw which is called the overarm throw and that's when we throw with the ball above our head and our arm is above our shoulder. And it sort of looks like that. Now, what these throws have in common is they're set up to the throw. So when we do throw, there's four parts to a throw. The first part is the aim. And we usually use our hand that we're not throwing with to aim at the target that we're going for. So we aim or we point. The second part of the throw is that we step forward with that same side. So if I'm pointing with my left hand in this case, I also step forward with my left leg. The next part of the throw is the throw itself. So I hold it back here for an overarm throw. For an underarm throw, I hold it down here. And then the last part is the follow through with our arm. So when we throw, we don't just stop here. Our arm keeps going after we let go of the ball. So just to repeat that, first part is the aim or the point. Second part is the step with the same side of my body. The third part is the throw. And the fourth part is the follow through. All right. I'm going to demonstrate an underarm throw first, so just bear with me. What are those steps again? Point or aim, step, we're doing an underarm throw, so throw, follow through. How was that? Did it look okay? Should have been alright. Now I have to go and get my ball. Okay. The next throw that I'm going to demonstrate is the overarm throw. So remember, our setup is the same. What's the first thing I have to do? Point or aim at my target. I need to step. Remember, it's an overarm throw this time, so my hand's up here. And I need to throw and follow through with my arm. Not too bad there at all. Now, we're actually going to aim at something. So do you remember that bucket from before that we were aiming for? Or the thing that you were able to get that we could use? But remember, we're not using mum and dad's vase. We'll get the bucket. I'm going to put it on the ground. And I'm going to take two steps away from my bucket. One, two. The first throw that I'm going to practice at my bucket is going to be the underarm throw. So I'm going to point, step with the same side, throw, 
and follow through with my arm. Did we see that? I didn't stop when my hand got here. I followed through and sure enough the ball went in the bucket. I'm a pretty good shot. That might have been a little bit easy. So what I'm going to do now is take a couple more steps back. I was two then, so we'll go three for this time. One, two, and one more, three. I point, step with the same side, I throw, and I follow through. See how the arm keeps going? And I keep my eyes on the target. That was pretty easy for me. I feel pretty confident with an underarm throw, so now I'm going to attempt my overarm throw up here. We'll start off close to begin with. One step away, two steps away. I need to point, step. It's an overarm throw, so my arm is up here this time. I'm looking at the target, I'm throwing towards the target, and I'm following through. I missed that time, but does that matter? It does not, because we can always practice a little bit more. I get my ball. Because I missed that time, I'm not going to go back any further. I'm going to go back to the two steps. One, two, practice my shot. Throw, follow through. I got it in that time. I can now go back a little bit. One, two, and because I got it in, one more step this time. Point, step, aim, throw. Follow through, and I got it in. So, <clears throat> with this challenge, throwing challenge, remember every time you get it in, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can go back one step each time. But I do want to see nice, accurate throws, and I want to see that you are going through all four steps. And just a reminder that's the aim, the step the throw, and the follow through with your arm. So your assessment task for this week is to send me just another short video, 15 seconds or less, of you practicing an underarm throw and an overarm throw. And I'm sure you'll do great because you have a fantastic teacher. Good luck and I can't wait to see your videos, grade one twos.